Irrepressible Women of Clare is an art project featuring five women who lived during the revolutionary period in Ireland from 1913 to 1923. I selected five very different women with very different cultural beliefs, backgrounds and experiences to convey the range of consequences that the War of Independence and the Civil War had on people's lives. Today I would like to take this opportunity to speak about three of the women that I've selected for this project. Georgina Frost came from Six Mile Bridge and ended up becoming the first woman elected to public office in the United Kingdom and Ireland when she was appointed Petty Sessions Clerk. Her story had a lot of twists and turns before that happened and I found it really interesting how the social and personal elements in her story are something that we can all learn from to this great achievement. I chose Kathleen Talty because of the lack of recognition she has received over the past 100 years for the remarkable work she did as a member of Cumann Amon while working as a maths teacher in Manchester. In her role, she collected funds, was responsible for dispatches and was personally involved in the escape of many notable Irish prisoners from jails in England. I selected Kathleen Griffin because her story really interested me in the manner in which as a member of Cumann Amon as a teenager she worked tirelessly to help Eamon de Valera's election campaign. Following that, she went on to marry a British soldier and raise a family in Innes. And that really fascinated me about her, in that her idealism and strength of belief in an independent Ireland also joined with her realisation that people are individuals and that it is the systems and governments that we differentiate between. So I saw her life story as a real act of reconciliation, true love. What I hope the audience feels or thinks when they see these works in the exhibition is how interesting each one of these women are and find something to connect with in each one of their stories. I think as well the range of stories is something that we're really looking at now with Irish history rather than just one perspective and I hope that these works and the manner in which I created them allow people to feel excited and interested in this time period and to leave the exhibition with a better understanding of what it was like a hundred years ago.